why is Bill Clinton speaking at the DNC? I realize you're going to say, well, he was president. He was president for eight years. Now, I get that. And I get that Bill Clinton is as good a politician as I've ever seen in my life. I mean that. Talented, charming. They say he walk in a room, make everybody feel like he knew him. Slick Willie is a good politician. I'm not denying that. But Bill Clinton is in the middle of an ugly, ugly scandal. You do realize that, right? The Democratic Party realizes that, right? The national media realizes that. I just want to recap things for you. And as you know, I don't do gossip and innuendo type things on the show. It just doesn't interest me. And I certainly don't pass moral judgments on other people because there's nobody on this planet less qualified to judge someone else's morals than I am. However, Jeffrey Epstein, maybe you've heard of him, the billionaire, the billionaire who had a, gosh, I know it's a family show. I'm not sure a nice way to put this in Ireland where he would entertain wealthy, powerful guests with underage women. I don't have a nicer way to put it than that. It's a big scandal. He had already been convicted of one thing, was under trial for another thing, and then killed himself while in custody. Bill Clinton's all over that. I mean, you get that, right? There's a painting, a very bizarre painting of Bill Clinton in a blue dress in the Epstein mansion. There was. Bill Clinton has been tied to this in other ways as well. Remember, we had that ABC reporter got caught on camera when she thought the camera was off, talking to someone off the camera about the Epstein scandal, saying, we had Clinton. That's an ABC reporter on camera saying they had Clinton. Recently, pictures just came out that were published in the Daily Mail of one of the young victims of that island giving Bill Clinton a neck massage before some speech he gave. Look, I don't know what he did or didn't do on Epstein's Island or Epstein's Plains or any of that. But one thing's for sure, it looks really, really bad. And how could this possibly be a bigger deal? He is the still very much alive former president of the United States of America tied now in multiple ways to an underage sex ring. Sorry, I know it's a family show, but he is. And yet the Democratic Party, knowing all this, they decide, man, we need someone to speak. How's Bill? They don't care. And what's maybe more amazing than that, because asking the Democratic Party to have shame is really asking for a lot. What's more amazing than that, get this, this is is astounding. The American media doesn't care. You know that Bill Clinton has yet to be asked a question about this? Wrap your mind around that. The still-living former president of the United States of America directly tied to a massive scandal involving children and not a single one of these journalists who spends all their time telling you they speak truth to power has bothered to ask him about it? Oh, wait, there's more. He's giving speeches about conduct in the White House? At first, he said the virus was under control and would soon disappear. When it didn't, he was on TV every day bragging on what a great job he was doing while our scientists waited to give us vital information. When he didn't like the expert advice he was given, he ignored it. Only when COVID exploded in even more states did he encourage people to wear masks. By then, many more were dying. When asked about the surge in deaths, he shrugged and said, It is what it is. But did it have to be this way? No. COVID hit us much harder than it had to. At a time like this, the Oval Office should be a command center. Instead, it's a storm center. There's only chaos. Just one thing never changes. His determination to deny responsibility and shift the blame. The buck never stops there. Again, I don't judge a man for his moral failings, but when you're Bill Clinton, 
and one of your main claims to fame is running the most aggressive intern vetting process in the history of the White House, I don't think you should be commenting on anybody else's conduct in the Oval Office. Yikes. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.